Hey, I'm CNET's Ryan Christ, and today we're taking a look at the Switch Infinia LED bulb. This is a 10 watt LED that is designed to replace a 60 watt incandescent. It puts out 800 lumens worth of light and shines at a color temperature of 2700 degrees Kelvin. The switch bulb claims to last 25,000 hours before burning out, which is about 25 years if you run it for three hours a day. That puts it on par with almost every other LED bulb that we've looked at. Unlike some other LEDs though, the switch is a good bulb when it comes to turning on and turning off quickly. It's instantaneous. It doesn't have that one second delay that we've seen from other bulbs like this Utilitech Pro bulb. At a price of $11.99 per bulb, this is a affordable LED replacement if you're looking to upgrade your lights. The question is, how does it stack up against other affordable LED replacement lights that we've looked at before? Well, let's take a look. Here we've got the Philips Slim Style LED. Now, this is an affordable, low-cost LED from Philips. It just came out this year. It's got a unique, flat design that is very interesting. No one else is doing it quite like that in the major manufacturing space. It produces these sort of shadowy areas up and down here. If you look, you can see them if I spin the light. And we don't love that, but it's still a pretty good bulb and definitely a good price. Here in the middle, I've got the Cree 60 watt replacement bulb. This is an excellent soft white bulb with a nice yellowy incandescent hue. And it's one of our favorite bulbs with a 10 year warranty. And finally, here on the right, we've got the Switch Infinia 60 watt replacement bulb. And you can see that it's a lot like the Cree bulb, both in terms of its brightness and color temperature. And they both sit on the low end of the color temperature scale and they both have 800 lumens. So that makes a lot of sense. There's not a whole lot separating these two in light quality, if you ask me. And the price is about the same, too. The Switch retails for $11.99, the Cree bulb retails for about $12.97, and they're both cheaper if you get those energy rebates. The Cree bulb has that 10-year warranty, but the Switch bulb is very interesting because it's offering a lifetime warranty for residential use. So if you buy this bulb and it burns out ever, you can return it and get a new one. That's very cool. That's a lot of reassurance for consumers who aren't quite ready to trust that LEDs are going to last the 25 and 30 years that the manufacturers are promising. Now there are other distinctions between the Cree bulb and the switch bulb. The Cree has this sort of fancy collar that a guy might wear in the 16th century, and that's just the heat sinks that dissipates the heat from the bulb. The collar on the switch bulb is more like something you'd put on a sick dog. It's got very simple design, you can't really see the heat sinks, and it doesn't really put out a lot of heat when you're running it, so that's a good thing too. At 6 ounces, the switch bulb is also a lot heavier than the 3.8 ounce Cree bulb. So if you've got a flex lamp or something that needs a lighter weight bulb, you probably want to go with Cree over switch. But all that said, these are both very good bulbs, and I'm really glad that a bulb as good as Cree has got some really solid competition here. That's only a good thing for the consumer. For CNET, I'm Ry Christ.